Rod Woodson. Rod Woodson, whose full name is Roderick Kevin Woodson, born March 10, 1965, is a former American professional football cornerback who played 17 seasons in the NFL. Regarded as one of the greatest defensive backs ever, he holds the NFL records for fumble recoveries, 32, and interceptions returned for touchdowns, 12. Woodson was named NFL Defensive Player of the Year in 1993. Drafted by the Pittsburgh Steelers in the first round of the 1987 NFL Draft, he spent 10 years with the team. He was a vital part of the Baltimore Ravens Super Bowl 35 championship team and had shorter stints with the San Francisco 49ers and Oakland Raiders. His 71 career interceptions rank third in NFL history. Woodson was inducted into the Pro Football Hall of Fame in 2009 and the College Football Hall of Fame in 2016. He primarily played as a cornerback before switching to safety later in his career. Most recently, he was the head coach of the XFL's Vegas Vipers. After retiring in 2003, Woodson worked as an analyst for NFL Network and the Big Ten Network until 2011. He coached the Raiders cornerbacks in 2011, then returned to broadcasting with Westwood One. He resumed coaching in 2014 and was announced as the Ravens' new radio color commentator in July 2022. Net Worth Rod Woodson has an estimated net worth of $7 million. He gains his impressive wealth primarily from his NFL career both as player and currently as a coach, his endorsements and from his own established businesses. Early Life Woodson was born in Fort Wayne, Indiana and was the youngest of three siblings, with whom he had close relationships. His father, the late James Woodson, was African-American, and his mother, Linda Jo Dewerflane, was of German descent. His father was a laborer from Tennessee, and his mother worked with the handicapped in Fort Wayne. Woodson attended R. Nelson Snyder High School in Fort Wayne, Indiana. His parents married in 1960 and had three sons, Joe, Jamie, and Rod. Woodson was raised in a two-story home in a predominantly black neighborhood. His family experienced harassment through his youth due to their mixed race. Rod Woodson attended Purdue University on a football scholarship, aiming for a degree in electrical engineering. He excelled as a cornerback, kick returner, running back, and wide receiver. Woodson earned All-American honors in 1985 and 1986 and was a three-time All-Big Ten first-team selection. In his final game, he recorded over 150 combined yards, 10 tackles, and a forced fumble, leading Purdue to victory over Indiana. He left Purdue holding 13 records, including tying the school record for career interceptions, 11. Woodson was inducted into the Purdue Intercollegiate Athletics Hall of Fame in 2003 and named to the Mount Rushmore of Purdue football in 2014. He was inducted into the College Football Hall of Fame in 2016. Personal Life Woodson resides in Pleasanton, California with his wife, Nikki, whom he married in 1992. The couple have five children, two sons and three daughters. From 1994 to 2008, Rod Woodson hosted the Rod Woodson Youth Week at his former high school, featuring NFL players mentoring kids on football and education. The event included a cheer camp, basketball game, and concert, and provided academic awards. Woodson, an outspoken Christian, funded most of the camp. He balanced his time between NFL Network in Los Angeles, his home in Pleasanton, and a cottage in Michigan, and was part of BBC Sports' NFL coverage in 2007. In 2011, he became the defensive backs coach for the Oakland Raiders. Woodson was a standout athlete in high school, earning All-American honors and in Indiana Mr. Football in 1982. He also excelled in hurdles and basketball. Despite a few legal issues, including arrests for minor theft, bar fights, and altercations, charges were often dropped or he was found not guilty. Woodson's reputation as a respected NFL player and coach remained intact. Professional Career Rod Woodson, selected by the Pittsburgh Steelers as the 10th overall pick in the 1987 NFL Draft, was initially unexpected to be available at their turn. However, a series of draft choices by other teams left Woodson open for Pittsburgh. Despite a lengthy 95-day contract holdout, Woodson, a world-class hurdler, eventually signed a four-year, $1.8 million contract with the Steelers. His professional debut came in Week 8 against the Kansas City Chiefs, where he immediately showcased his talent. 
Woodson's rookie season saw him making significant contributions as a return specialist and defensive back. In 1988, Woodson became a starting cornerback and continued to excel, notably returning a kickoff for a 92-yard touchdown against the Phoenix Cardinals. He ended the season with 88 combined tackles and four interceptions. The following year, despite a coaching shakeup, Woodson's performance remained stellar. He returned a kickoff for an 84-yard touchdown and finished the season with 80 tackles and three interceptions. The Steelers made a playoff appearance, where Woodson played a crucial role. By 1990, Woodson had solidified his position as a premier cornerback. He returned his first punt for a touchdown and was named to the Pro Bowl and First Team All-Pro. Woodson continued his high level of play in 1991 and faced an injury that sidelined him for a game, but finished the season with 73 tackles and three interceptions. The Steelers, however, had a disappointing 7-9 record. In 1992, with a new head coach and defensive coordinator, Woodson led the Steelers' defense, achieving a career-high six sacks and four interceptions, earning another Pro Bowl selection. He maintained his elite performance in 1993, highlighted by a career-high eight interceptions, earning NFL Defensive Player of the Year honors. Woodson's career faced a setback in 1995, when he tore his ACL but made a historic comeback in Super Bowl XXX. Despite contract negotiations falling through in 1996, Woodson delivered a strong season before entering free agency. He then joined the San Francisco 49ers in 1997, delivering a notable performance, including a three-interception game. The following year, Woodson signed with the Baltimore Ravens, transitioning to free safety in 1999. His leadership and performance were instrumental in the Ravens' defensive success, culminating in a Super Bowl 35 victory. In 2002, Woodson joined the Oakland Raiders, continuing to play at a high level and reaching another Super Bowl. Despite battling injuries in later years, Woodson's impact on the field remained significant until his retirement. Woodson's illustrious career is marked by numerous accolades, including Pro Bowl selections, All-Pro honors, and a legacy as one of the greatest defensive backs in NFL history. Coaching Stint Woodson coached the defense at Valley Christian Senior High in Dublin, California along with former Raider John Perella. He was also the head coach of the women's varsity basketball team. The Raiders hired Woodson as their cornerbacks coach on February 14, 2011. He, along with most of Hugh Jackson's Raiders staff, was not retained following the 2011 season. On June 12, 2013, the Pittsburgh Steelers announced that Woodson would be serving as an intern coach. On February 9, 2015, it was announced that Woodson would be returning to the Raiders as an assistant defensive backs coach under head coach Jack Del Rio, defensive coordinator Ken Norton Jr., and defensive backs coach Marcus Robertson. On March 9, 2017, following Robertson's firing earlier that offseason, Woodson was promoted back to cornerbacks coach alongside new safeties coach Brent Wieselmeyer. Woodson was fired following the 2017 season after John Gruden was hired as head coach. On April 13, 2022, Woodson was announced as one of the eight head coaches for the 2023 season of the XFL. Later on, it was revealed that he would coach the relocated Vegas Vipers. After a 2-8 season in 2023, the Vipers and Woodson agreed to part ways on June 11, 2023. And with that, thanks for watching, give us a like, share with friends and please subscribe.